Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales and we are back with Thimbleweed on a beautiful beautiful new leaf day with a trio of brand new surprises in our camp. You guys look at this we have more cats we have more cats in the camp and this was actually not something that I did. We did roll a random generator uh, event today that we would have a kitty pet queen come into the camp but the fact that the kitty pet queen showed up in camp with two kits that was completely the game i was just jumping off the walls with excitement when i saw that oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so i'm very excited to introduce to you guys annabelle and her two beautiful kits little thorn kit who is a boy and little crystal kit who is a girl and they actually came with those names so that was pretty exciting apparently annabelle kind of has her eye uh towards perhaps raising her kits out here but maybe she'll tell us why oh thank you so much for letting me stay here i was so scared i'd get lost and we'd all die in the wilderness like this but last time i had kits my two leg took them away when they were all still so young this time i wanted to find a safe place to raise them but i got lost and i thought we'd starve to death before you found us Oh, Annabelle, don't worry, we'll take good care of you. So Annabelle, also known as Anna or Belle, is here and uh, she's brought her two kids with her, which is super awesome. I think that Thimbleweed is just really excited and our three little ones who are now old enough, I can't believe it, but Hope, Kit, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit are now no longer kits, but they are paws, they are apprentices. And that means soon we will have to train them ourselves, which is so exciting, but uh, they, they've grown up enough to be apprentices i just can't believe that and that also means they're old enough that they're older than crystal kit and thorn kit here so i think that they're pretty excited to be able to have kits to play with this is the first time they've seen other kits this is the first time they've seen a kitty pet queen actually since we escaped into the snowy wilderness and built this little camp in the dead of winter the winter uh let's see what was it it was like leaf bear the first when we showed up out here so i can't believe they're already a couple seasons old i'm sure thimble Weed has plenty to talk to Spot Ridge about like how quickly the the kits are growing up and they might start thinking about what are they going to do for the future of Hope Paw, Brave Paw, and Joy Paw. Are they going to try to introduce them back into Wind Clan once they are old enough and strong enough? Will the three kits actually want to return to the clan of their origins? Maybe face down courage for? Will they hide the secret of like who they, they actually are the kits of? Has Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge actually actually told hope brought uh, hope uh brave and joy paw like their origins i have no idea what do you guys think oh there's just too much i think that thimble would be would be like um this is too much to think about right now let's just go ahead we're going to have breakfast so let's eat our dead rabbit which will feed the three apprentices the bird will actually feed spot ridge and thimbleweed so that's that and then we need three more pieces of food so let's go ahead and eat these three frogs eat 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 there we go and I think that covers everybody. So there we go. We'll make sure Annabelle's nice and comfy because Thimbleweed is very, very considerate that way. And I think that Spot Ridge is going to tell us to get out of here already. We need to go gather more food if we're going to be able to feed all of these new mouths. So let's go ahead and uh, get to work collecting things. Hopefully it won't be too hard a day for Thimbleweed. We might be able to find some nice fat squirrels hiding along. Oh, yes. There we go hiding along the way here oh yay all right already got a squirrel and let's see let me glance down we're allowed to hunt in wind clan camp territory the random event of the day was a kitty pet queen showing up and she actually showed up completely on her own which made me laugh so hard the fates and the random generators in the game wanted to work together apparently oh yes there's a good fat bunny got the bunny oh my gosh thimbleweed is really becoming a very good hunter i'm pretty proud of him and then our arrival for the day is ThunderClan. So if we run into any ThunderClan cats, we have to fight them. But we can run away from all of the other cats, actually, which is such a relief. Because I don't know about you guys, but if you've been watching in Apple Clan with Apple Star, the other untold tale story that we tell, uh, it's been really hard because Apple Star is a blood rivals, like they're permanent blood rival enemies with ThunderClan. So every time Apple Star sees a ThunderClan cat, it has to be like a fight to the end. We can run from this though. I'm not involved. Oh my gosh. Ah! Wind Clan. No, I wanted that. Run for it. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. So everybody over there is really aggressive. I think Thimbleweed has just like had enough of that. He doesn't want to have anything to do with all of that fighting. And thankfully, we don't have to. That's such a relief. It's much more peaceful. There we go. Nice little bit of moss to drink. Much, much, much more peaceful than... Oh, peaceful. Peaceful, I said. Jeez. Apparently, like, oh, and they took away my little, my little spot. I was going to have something to drink. I think Thimbleweed is just like, oh my gosh. Maybe he doesn't want to let Brave Paw, Joy Paw, and Hope Paw end up joining Wind Clan. What if being away from all of that chaos and all of that fighting is kind of making Thimbleweed realize that the fighting is sort of pointless in a way? I wonder if he'd be feeling that. Oh, the mouse got away. What about this one? I wonder if he would be feeling, oh, he's not very good at hunting mice. Feeling like maybe the fighting is actually kind of pointless and he might not have ever really thought about that before. But really, why fight when there's cats out there who are in need and who are trying to escape from things like like terrible two legs who want to take away their kits, you know? I, I just feel like Thimbleweed's having a little bit of a crisis when it comes to the clan and when it comes to their... Um, their beliefs and why they do what they do. So there we go. We've got a lot of prey over here. He is really like a master hunter. Why can't I get this much big fat prey? Go, oh man. When it comes to working with Apple Star for crying out loud, because that camp needs a lot more food. <laughs> All right, well, let's run up. It's getting pretty late. We have a big exciting day because we have introduced a new cat into our clan and her two kits and I think that that would have our little ones just absolutely beside themselves with excitement. All right, wiggle, 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 go little thimbleweed, go. All right, I'm gonna put down another barricade right here. That seems like a good idea. And then thimbleweed will crawl back in. The tiny meows of the new additions to the family are here. I think Spot Ridge would just kind of sigh with be feeling just resolved, like I guess this is the way it's gonna go. And I wonder, I feel like Hope Paw, Brave Paw, and Joy Paw would probably be feeling a little bit eager to get out, but they're still distracted with the new kits. But I think that Joy Paw might be the one who wants to go out the most. And I feel like she might say something that kind of makes Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge glance at each other, sort of like, oh my gosh. But I feel like Joy Paw might say something along the lines of, but what if the little kits get sick? Shouldn't we go get more herbs to take care of them? So she might be naturally just affiliated with thinking about health and thinking about how to take care of the little ones. And she's seen how Spot Ridge and Thimbleweed will spend long hours debating the merits of different herbs since they both loved to study the medicine cat ways. So let's have little Joy Paw actually follow us and Thimbleweed will take her out and we'll try to go gather some of the herbs. So we'll try, this is her first trip out. Joy Paw, this is so exciting. It's our very first trip out, and we're going to go look for some of the special... Uh -huh. Look at this, Joy Paw. This is it. This is one of the herbs that we need in order to keep all of the cats nice and healthy. And there's a big fat rabbit. Never pass up. Oh, can she get it, actually? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Joy Paw, holy moly! <laughs> So she's a natural uh, natural hunter and she's really good at figuring out the different herbs. So let's let her try again. Is she going to get all of her hunting? Okay, maybe not there. Maybe, maybe she was so small that the rabbit just didn't see her coming. But that was pretty impressive. I was not expecting her to like very first time she ever even sees a live rabbit go ahead and tackle it. Can she get the squirrel too? Nah, not very good with squirrels. The squirrels are too... Wily for her, it seems, but ah, dang it. Too wily for Thimbleweed, too. All right, we'll try. Whoa! <laughs> that rabbit, like, did a backflip to get away. That was hilarious. Oh, there's another one. All right, Joy Paw, why don't you try this one, too? Because that was really interesting. She was very good at that. What the heck? She's just like a perfect rabbit killer. I can't believe this, which is kind of sad, but come on, guys. Cats are, cats are predators. That's what they do. When you let your kitty go outside, what do you think your kitty is actually doing? All right, and... Are we just gonna, oh, whoa, she got it. She got him. Is she gonna get this one too? Joy Pot just maxed out. So she, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> so Joypaw has actually just completed all of the hunting she needs to do to uh, count as her apprentice training. Like on her first day out. How ridiculous is that? I feel like I feel like Thimbleweed would feel a little bit confused. A little bit like, whoa. But there we go. We'll put her back. And we'll drop off the bunnies. <laughs> this clan, I I feel like maybe the hunting is just better in Wind Clan because it's so much easier to take care of this clan. But wow, good job, Joy Paw. That was that was super impressive. I am really relieved actually. So I wonder if there's anything else we should work on. Probably trying to get some of the different kinds of herbs. Um, we might want to head over to Shadow Clan territory because we don't have any of the horse tails. And the reason that we would want to do that, in fact, let's go get. Mm, okay, Joy Paw. Since you're on a roll, you can come with me and we're going to try to go get this, the comfrey. We're going to go get more comfrey because one of the things that the apprentices have to do in order to become warriors is actually study all of the different herbs in the land. So we need to get some goldenrod. Uh, actually, is this goldenrod? What's this? No, this is feverfew. So we need to get some goldenrod from Apple Clan. And today we are... So we're not going to go to Apple, or not Apple Clan, what the heck, from Thunder Clan. <laughs> I can't believe I said Apple Clan. But we need to get Goldenrod from Thunder Clan. We need to get Feverfew from River Clan. And we need to get Comfrey from Shadow Clan. So let's go down because I have seen the Feverfew. And we're going to send these two on a little journey. And I think Thimbleweed might try to like run at some points like this. Whoa, Joy Paw, are you okay? Okay. He's going to have to, whoa, up we go. He's going to have to explain all of this battling. And I just feel like the longer Thimbleweed takes care of these little ones, oh, and he would definitely be distracted by these feathers, by the way. But I feel like the longer he takes care of the three kits, the less he is sure about sending them back to be able to be with uh, with their mother in Wind Clan. Because, I mean, look at all this violence. He's starting to realize, whoa, run, 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 run. Joy Paw? Joy Paw, Joy Paw, this way. Oh, thank goodness. All right. And that's what we want right down there. I wonder if there's a way to reach it. I wonder if we can make like a little, oh, oh, right up here. I think Joy Paw would have let out a little call of excitement to see the Feverfew plant. All right. And now we have to figure out how to get over. Oh, yeah. And we have a ton of food we need to collect here. All right. Come on, Joy Paw. It is one heck of a long journey to get this. Uh, oh, that's right. We have to go up. Whoa, Joy Paw, this way. Oh, an apple! This group doesn't have an apple. That might be useful for something in the future. All right, Joypaw, Joypaw, this way, this way, this way. If they're fighting, we can't go get the comfrey. Nope, 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 Joypaw, Joypaw, Joypaw! Whoa, shiny thing! <laughs> All right, so we were not able to get the comfrey, but we, and I'm gonna just try one more time, because Thimbleweed, I think, would take off like a rocket. Yep, whoop, and there's an apple. Okay, this is clearly like a treasure zone, so we'll have to come here more often. All right, uh, I guess we're gonna leave the apples because I'm not sure how useful they would be right now. And we're gonna gather up all of the dead thrushes that we actually left last time. And uh, we're gonna take Joy Paw back to camp, but holy moly guys. So yeah, I feel like Thimbleweed sees the fighting and he's less and less sure about wanting to return the kits to this kind of, this kind of life. It just seems so much easier at this point even though it's kind of disloyal to think it, to stay away from the clan's chaos and and just their, their viciousness. But the thing is, there's something to be said for the fact that he actually is benefiting from living on the edges of Wind Clan territory. So he hasn't had to defend his territory from stronger, more aggressive cats because he doesn't really have a proper clan. He just is sort of with the cats, hiding in the corner like this. All right, let's go ahead. We have our little shiny thing treasure. And nobody is really coming for them right now. But the bottom line kind of is that's because they're still in sort of Wind Clan territory. Just Wind Clan territory is so big that we're protected by Wind Clan, even if Thimbleweed doesn't want to admit it. So maybe Brave Brave Paw might realize something about that. You can't just always hide in the shadows. At some point, 
you're gonna have to defend yourself. Like, what if a big dog came by and it was just Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge with his bad leg and and the three apprentices? Then the dog would probably get them, especially with Annabelle and Thorn Kit and Crystal Kit here. So I I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. I think Thimbleweed right now might be erring on the side of not returning the kits to Wind Clan, so they didn't have to be part of all that. But they are actually benefiting from Wind Clan's protection, even if Thimbleweed doesn't really quite realize it because he's just always lived like this. So some food for thoughts and the uh, awesome roleplay and fanfics that you guys put into the comments, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>